I'm looking forward to the season and how it unfolds and, and uh, just take it game by game. What are you seeing from Braxton? I know he's a little nicked up right now, but you know, from Braxton to spring, what do you expect from him this season? You know, pretty much everything that he's done, you know, so far. Um, yeah, I think everybody knows, you know, how good he is, obviously. But uh, one thing that, that people may not know is, is how smarter he has gotten uh, when it comes to the game of, of football and being a quarterback. Um, he's taken a, a leadership role that he's, you know, never really took. Um, he's leading his team, and, um, you know, I think the sky's the limit for this whole team. Is the one thing missing from his legacy here a championship performance in one of his big games? Uh, yeah, you know, not only just his legacy, but the, the class of 2011 legacy. I, I really feel that's what's missing. Um, you know, we, we've done tremendous things since we've been here. Since we've been here, uh, you know, when we first came in as freshmen, a lot of guys played as freshmen. Um, I you know, obviously went on a 24-0 streak and uh, you know things in, in that nature. But I think that one thing that's missing uh, to complete it all is a championship, and, and that's what we're looking forward to. Devin, you're like the elder state, or one of the elder statesmen now with the receivers. When the, when coach came in, I don't even have to tell you what he called you guys. <laughs> do, you, do you think that clearly you guys are ready to take even another step this year? Huh? Yeah, um, you know, we were five, six practices in. Uh, we've been doing extremely well. We've seen a lot of guys grow. Uh, you know, guys like Dontre, Dontre Wilson, for, for uh, example, uh, Jalen Marshall. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys that are stepping up, Mike Thomas being one of them. Uh, and, and me and Evan, you know, we're leading that group, obviously. And uh, but not only are we leading, but we're growing it as well, um, becoming smarter at the game of football. Uh, you know, getting better at the at the receiver play. You know, and, and kind of the book on you is a spectacular big play guy. Sometimes maybe doesn't make that intermediate catch, whether it's true or not. What's your take on that? I uh, really don't worry about it. I, you know, I, I know how good I am. I, you know, obviously I'm here for a reason, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just going to continue to get better. You know, I'm not going to worry about what other people have to say about me. Um, you know, they can say what they want. They don't know the work that I put in, and uh, you know, this this year is going to be a little different. Uh, instead of me just splitting wide all the time, I'm going to be in the slot a lot. So, you know, we're going to change a lot of things up, and I'm looking forward to it. So, you your role will will change a bit, huh? Yeah. Yep could mean more receptions or at least more opportunities, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot more opportunities, a lot more catches, uh, and a lot a lot more chances of me making play for this football team. What percentage of time does a receiver like you spend on blocking, as in downfield blocking? Uh, you know, when we talk about wide receivers here, you know, that's the first thing we talk about. You got, you have to know how to block before you touch a football here, and, and that's something that Coach Smith uh, harped on a lot. That's something that Coach Meyer talks about a lot, too. Is your timing improved uh, with the QB, you think? Yeah, um, you know, I really think we, we really haven't lost touch, you know, the fact that Braxton is out right now. But, uh, you know, I feel like, it, you know, when he gets back, I mean, everything's still going to click. You know, he just got to knock some of the rust off that, that, that he has from not being able to throw uh, in, a, in a competitive uh, environment. But, you know, he's an athlete, just like everyone out there is, and uh, I feel like he's going to be fine.